The Reveal 3D test makes it simple to screen for the presence of low levels of allergens in CIP rinses and environmental swabs virtually anywhere. The test features a unique three-line design, including an overload line, that makes it easy for the user to identify both a positive and high positive samples. Each kit contains everything required to perform testing. Sample preparation and testing takes less than 10 minutes, making Neogen's Reveal 3D tests a great choice for on-site food allergen control. This video provides an overview of the proper use of Neogen's Reveal 3D food allergen test kits by demonstrating the Reveal 3D Total Milk Allergen Test Kit. Test procedures and materials for other Reveal 3D allergen tests may vary somewhat. This presentation serves only as a visual guide to the written materials supplied with the test kit. To ensure accuracy in the performance of this test, please read and follow the test's written instructions in their entirety. This video covers the supplies needed to run a test, the extraction of allergens from rinse water samples and environmental swabs, a demonstration of a Reveal 3D test procedure, and an interpretation of Reveal 3D test results. The materials provided with Neogen's Reveal 3D for Total Milk Allergen test include one foil pouch containing 10 Reveal 3D for Total Milk Allergen devices, 10 sachets containing extraction buffer, 10 sample tubes and caps, 10 individually packaged sterile swabs with break-off tips, written test instructions, and additionally a timer is necessary. A 1000 microliter pipetter is recommended for liquid sample measurement. Other Reveal 3D tests may require a 250 microliter pipetter for sampling. Remove the test kit from refrigeration and allow it to reach room temperature before use. This generally takes 20 to 30 minutes. Sampling and sample extraction for a rinse or liquid product. To test a CIP rinse or liquid product, remove one sample tube and cap and an extraction buffer. The Reveal 3D test requires only a small amount of liquid sample be tested. Therefore, it is important to test a representative portion of the liquid. Carefully tear or cut off the top of the extraction buffer sachet and add the entire contents to the sample tube. Pipette one milliliter of sample into the sample tube. If you don't have a pipetter, you can estimate one milliliter by filling a white sample tube cap up halfway and adding it to the sample tube. Please note that test results may be less accurate if a pipetter is not used. Secure the white cap and shake for one minute. The sample is now ready for testing. Sample should be tested within three hours of extraction. Sampling and sample extraction of environmental swabs. Remove the test kit from refrigeration and allow it to reach room temperature before use. This generally takes 20 to 30 minutes. You'll need one sample tube and cap, one sterile swab, and one extraction buffer for each environmental surface you want to sample. Carefully tear or cut off the top of the extraction buffer sachet and add the entire contents to the sample tube. If testing a flat surface, estimate a swabbing area of approximately 10 by 10 centimeters. Alternatively, use the swab to collect samples from problem areas like processing equipment, mixers, or filler heads. If you're swabbing a dry surface, remove a sterile swab from the packaging and wet it with extraction buffer by dipping it in the sample tube. Other Reveal 3D kits that provide a swab wetting solution require you to wet the swab using two drops of swab wetting solution. Swab your 10 by 10 centimeter area using a crosshatch technique while revolving the swab on the surface. Repeat the swabbing procedure using movements at right angles to those used in the first swabbing. If swabbing a wet surface, do not moisten the swab prior to use. Place the swab into the sample tube that contains the extraction buffer. Then carefully break off the moistened end at the pre-scored mark so that it remains in the tube. Secure the sample tube's cap. Make sure that the stem does not prevent the tube from being properly sealed. Shake for one minute. Samples should be tested within three hours of extraction. Running the test. Remove one Reveal 3D test device from a foil pouch that has warmed to room temperature. Remove the lid from the sample tube, then completely fill the lid with liquid from the sample tube. 
Any froth should remain in the tube. Dip the head of the Reveal 3D device into the liquid in the lid. Ensure the cavity is saturated with the liquid. Hold the device in the lid until you see the liquid running in the test window. As soon as the liquid has entered the test window, place the device flat on a level surface. It is essential that the device lays flat on the level surface, as this stimulates flow through the device. Set the timer for 5 minutes. Interpret the test results within 1 minute of the completion of the 5 minute incubation period. Observations made after 6 minutes may be inaccurate due to overdevelopment of the device. Interpreting Reveal 3D Test Results Note the device's T, O, and C zones. The T zone is for the test line, the O zone for the overload line, and the C zone for the control line. If your device does not develop a control line, the test should be considered invalid and the sample should be reanalyzed. T, O, and C lines can vary in intensity, therefore any intensity of the line should be interpreted as a line. Negative result. Lines visible at positions O and C, but not at T, indicate a negative result. The level of milk in the sample was determined to be below the test detection limit. Positive result. Lines visible at positions O and C, together with a line of any intensity visible at position T, indicates the level of milk in the sample was determined to be at or above the test detection limit. High positive result. A line visible at position C, no line visible at position O, and a line visible or absent at position T indicates the sample is overloaded or has a high level of contamination. If you have a question about your results or any of the procedures demonstrated in this video, please contact your Neogen representative.